Hi guys, um, so another really, really quick reading. Um, this is on about, obviously you've probably seen in the papers, if you're into the royals that is, that Prince Harry didn't turn up at the memorial today for Philip. So the reaction from the royal family, um, you know, people say Meghan was involved in this. So I'm just going to go over the information that's come out, okay? I don't know if we're actually going to need the cards at all. I might pull a couple of cards here. But to be honest, I'm not sure who really, really need that right now because I've got the information anyway all written down from what came through. So first of all, this is the information I've got, guys, okay? So Prince Harry didn't show up for his memorial. How do the royals feel? And the words that came through was he shot himself in the foot and that was the last straw. So that's what I heard. He shot himself in the foot and that was the last straw. I just heard the straw that broke the camel's back. Isn't that a saying? Um, he took a situation that could have been handled differently and escalated it out of pride and stubbornness. And a lot of this is because... I'm just going to hold up one. <laughs> I'm laughing because the Ace of Swords actually means somebody not committing and being blindfolded and just not being committed to something. So this means not being committed in a relationship, not being committed to going to the memorial. That's pretty much the first card I just pulled, which is pretty ironic right there. But So this is the information I've got here. It came out of pride and stubbornness, but a lot of this is because he felt cut off from the royal family completely and is bearing a grudge now. So he feels that he's no longer seen as one of them anymore. So this isn't just about being not seen as a royal by the public. In a way, he's adjusted to that now anyway. He has. He's adjusted to that. But he can't get used to not being seen as a royal with the family. So even though he's left the royal family, he was brought up as a royal, his upbringing, his family life, everything has been about being a royal. And that's why he finds it so hard that they've shunned him. I've just heard people, well, you know, family members have shunned him. So like I said, guys, no matter what we think of him, it's still pretty much like losing your family. Yes, he chose to walk away, but even if you walk away from a situation, it's still losing your family as well. That's going to be a lot of strain on you, okay? So that's the energy that's coming through. It's more to do with family cutting off as a royal that he's upset with, okay? Not the public or anything like that about what the public think of him. I, feel, I actually hear he's past that. And I do feel that's because he feels like he's going to be able to explain everything in his book and what his upbringing was really like. And I do hear cold in some situations as well. Very, very cold in the way he was treated as a kid. Not by Diana, by the way. And I just put that out there about other royals and the sense, sen the sense of duty that they put on him. I just heard the sense of duty. Right. Let's see. This is what else came through. He's also taken the tragedy, tragedy of Diana too far in a way that, yes, he should have had security, but there was a way around it. OK, there was a way around it, but he wanted to go for the government as well. He wanted to go for the government. And a lot of this, I do feel it's almost like they owe it to him. Again, this is coming up about the life he was brought up in. You know, I can't, guys, I can't remember what age he was when he actually left the royal family. But he feels that he's done enough for the royal family. Not even done enough for the royal family. It's more that the situation and the life he was brought up in, like mass scrutiny throughout his whole life, everything that he's gone through, he feels that he deserved security. Okay. But it's almost like he's taken the Diana thing, the tragedy too far, and he's running with it. He's running with it. It's almost like he's not seeing sense anymore because I do hear there was a way around it. I think somebody said, um, Prince Charles said that, that he could just use their security. So that's another thing. And I actually got, before I even did this reading, just as I was tuning into the energy, I actually got the song from Radiohead. <laughs> You do it to yourself. And the lyrics are, you do it to yourself. And that's what really hurts. And that's like the whole thing about him at the moment. Now, how does the Queen feel? It's pretty obvious she's disappointed. Okay. She's disappointed. But this is interesting. She's not too distressed because she's actually come to terms, terms with it anyway. And she knows she has left the family in good hands when it comes to Prince William and Kate. And they are more than capable enough of running things if needs be and are a positive face for the UK. So it's almost like she's had that period of mourning and grieving. And even though she is disappointed that he didn't turn up, she didn't expect anything less is what I'm hearing. So there is disappointment there, obviously, but it's almost like she's come to terms. He's no longer a family member. And she's trying to focus on William and Kate right now and the family and their children. 
So it's almost like she's very stoic here, because I actually heard the word she's actually very stoic about the situation. Other information that came through on this is she's also happy that Prince William and Kate have more knowledge of different movements going on around and current issues around and they are better rounded than she was because when she started it was as with um it was like she was separate from the public she was separate from the people um because of her breeding i'm getting the word breeding she wasn't seen as seen as a normal person obviously not she's royalty but when it comes to william and kate they almost like in the way of diana where they can touch people and people can almost um, be more in tune with them and their difficulties and their problems and their issues and they see them as a family and their parents you know they still got I do feel Kate actually tells tells um, some of the parents she actually speaks to about you know she's like oh the baby's keeping me up all night or something she's more real and the queen is happy they are more real because she had to learn to do that by herself it was frowned upon she wasn't brought up like that at all so she's pleased that they have been brought up to be so involved in charitable uh, charitable work and and what Diana did in a lot of ways, okay, bringing them up to be. I mean, Diana apparently used to take them out to um, homeless shelters and things like that when they were quite younger, okay. So they were aware of what's going on in the world. The Queen felt completely shut off from it, okay. She was ordered what to do and what to say. It was only when she got a bit older in her travels she would see issues and she would put her foot down. But she was brought up completely differently from them, and that's why she's so happy they are taking over. They're the face of the UK, a positive face for the UK. So she feels confident in them. Right. Yeah. And again, the word came up. She's stoic when it comes to the Harry situation. So she's more stoic than you realise, guys. She is. She is. I know she looks frail at the moment and a lot of us are worried about her. She is like 95, for God's sake, you know. But she's a lot more stoic than you think. And I just heard the word resilient. She still has that resilience. Even if she looks a bit fragile at the moment, she still has that resilience in her mind. Her mind is completely clear and she's confident in the future of the royal family. OK, I just heard the new younger generation coming up as well. Right. I did get asked as well. Did Meghan have a lot of invoy, um, a lot of involvement in his choice? Now, actually, most uh, I can imagine lots of people saying it's all Meghan's fault. No, I don't actually see that. I see two sides to this, okay? I heard that she told him to go it alone because she does not want this all coming back on her. I just heard she's taken enough grief from the public. She doesn't want this, something this serious about a memorial for his granddad coming back on her, not telling him to go. So I feel that she actually said to him, you can go by yourself, but he refused because he wanted to take the family. OK, I just sense he was the one that was stubborn here, not her, because she doesn't want this to come back on him and he will regret it late in life. And I, I, I feel it will. He is going to regret this later in life. And she's aware of that. No matter what, not what anyone says about her, it's still his wife. It's still his family members. She feels he's going to regret it. So she wanted him to go alone. She didn't want the drama. She doesn't even want to go, guys. She didn't want to be there. OK, she's under enough scrutiny. She doesn't want to be there, but she did not want him to stay behind because of her. She doesn't want to take the blame for this. I really feel she does not want to take the blame for this. Okay. Yeah, and again, the last line on this one, guys, is... Um, let's see what it said here. Yeah, that she said it's something you will, will regret if you don't do it. But because he couldn't... I hear we go together or that's it. So we go together, we don't go alone. So unless the whole family could go, he wasn't going to do it. So that's actually what's happened right now. And again, I just hear he's shooting himself in the foot right now. So that's the information coming through. I was quite shocked. I know people aren't that shocked about what he does right now, but I was still quite shocked he didn't go, to be honest. But, uh, but I do feel the Queen is stoic, okay? I really do. I feel she was disappointed, but she didn't expect anything less I kept hearing. She knew his choice way before, apparently. It wasn't a last-minute thing. She knew weeks in advance about this. So she wasn't... I just heard she wasn't surprised about this outcome, guys, and what happened. She wasn't surprised. She knew he wasn't going to go. And she's come to terms with it. But her main focus now is not on him. It's on the other royals. It's on the other royals, especially William and Kate. Okay? That's a really, really super quick reading. If you want me to do a part two on the royals, just put your questions in the comments and I will do all the work on that in the next couple of days. All right, guys, have a good evening. Good night.